technical problems, but we are live, mm -hmm. and that's Fine, it. good. So we announce in all our social media that we will be live on YouTube. We want to increase live videos on YouTube because we think it's kind of not fair mm -hmm. to be all the time live on Facebook. Yeah, definitely. And uh, I think it's really good to uh, come to the neutral zone mm -hmm. and talk to Give all us the, the opportunity yeah, to, to come in contact with more people. I think YouTube is a great platform and we have to use it. So. And the video will stay mm -hmm. uh, for longer time. Exactly. Upload it and you will be able to rewatch it if you are not able to join us now. Ask questions, participate in this conversation, then you will be able to do it later and maybe watch it with friends. And mm -hmm. after that, you can send us questions or you can check the articles that we're going to talk about today. Yep. Because these, uh, there are two articles at rigosketo.com that talk about keto Mediterranean diet. Now, is it possible to make a, a like a fusion mm -hmm. of these two diets and actually create something totally new and uh, healthier? And I wouldn't call it new, I would actually call it very ancient. If we go back in time, what the ancient Mediterraneans ate, it was very low carb. Mm -hmm. Trust us, it was far uh, We wrote lower. An, uh, I think, uh, an exceptional article about uh, ancient Greece and uh, a low carb event. Uh, how actually the ancient Greeks, uh, when they had symposium or other gatherings, they were eating uh, low carb. I think this is really important. The elites were eating mm -hmm. low carb. We need to understand this thing. There weren't. Uh, Breads that we have today from wheat, they had another uh, kind of cereal. It's not still a cereal, but it belongs to the family of cereals. Uh, it's spelt and other stuff. As that they call it, zea. Zea, yeah. Uh, and of course, uh, a lot of meat, fish, cheese. Uh, Animal source. Oh, yes. yes. So, uh, if you're going to go to Brigo's Keto and read the first article ever written about Keto Mediterranean lifestyle, it's called Golden Fee of Nutrition. And it's telling us about uh, how Keto actually can be performed on mm -hmm. Mediterranean style. And uh, it says that Mediterranean diet became extremely popular in the past two decades. Many scientific studies have shown that this might be the healthiest diet in the world. It was conceived from the traditional eating patterns of Mediterranean countries mm -hmm. such as Greece, Italy, Spain, Croatia, Southern France. It's based mainly on seafood, olive oil, goat and sheep milk products, vegetables and fruits that grow in this area. And now we're talking about standard Mediterranean diet. We're not yet talking about keto here. Uh, however, not all of them originate from the Mediterranean basin. Now we're talking about oranges, lemon, tomato, uh, all of them brought to us from China or Mexico. Despite that, uh, over a century now, this fruit became a symbol of Mediterranean cuisine. But there are some serious downsides of the classical Mediterranean diet. We really have to talk about bad side mm -hmm. of so-called Mediterranean diet. And even though everything is soaked in beneficial olive oil, a classical Mediterranean diet, as any traditional diet, is loaded with starchy carbs. Well, we talk about traditional in the modern times. Mm -hmm. Uh, starchy carbs, wheat, even corn, which is totally not Mediterranean. Definitely it's like totally not. strange to Mediterranean yeah. cuisine. Uh, other grains, legumes, and rice, which is also not Mediterranean. Yeah, even uh, we forgot to mention even bananas. That uh, <laughs> all these things came uh, from uh, totally not Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. And usually Mexico and Latin it, America or China. And you are asking here, how can it be healthiest? Then. Yeah. How can they claim that Mediterranean diet? Again, there is this misconception that the um, uh, Mediterranean diet is the best diet in the world because it contains a lot of fish, blah, 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 blah. But it's not like this. A modern uh, Mediterranean diet is uh, actually a really bad diet. Uh, the reason is the combination of uh, carbohydrates with fats. Uh, no matter if these fats are healthy, like uh, olive oil or, uh, I don't know, some kind of uh, even... 
coconut oil that is not Mediterranean. They brought it as a Mediterranean food, even avocado or oil that also baptized it, I would say, as Mediterranean uh, mm. uh, food uh, because you can grow even bananas in Crete, for example, in Greece or avocados. Uh, tomatoes are not Mediterranean, uh, definitely not potatoes, no uh, legumes uh, that they came uh, much later from China or oranges or uh, lemons. Hi, Susanna. Susanna. A quick hello, original recipes, finally, bravo. And many, many thanks. thanks. Oh, thank you so much for visiting Grigos Keto. We hope you will try some of our recipes mm -hmm. and then let us Do let more people on Keto know about quail eggs, yeah. Yes, definitely. We will talk about quail eggs a little bit later because it's totally related to ancient Mediterranean mm -hmm. food. There are those myths about quails in ancient Greek mythology. And there are, there are so We've many beautiful a... stories which are telling us that these eggs are Another anti-inflammatory food uh, as a goat cheese. Uh, now we are prone just to buy uh, cow's milk products, uh, normal hen eggs, uh, and we don't give a, actually. Uh, which are we don't pay attention all the to. time free range, mm -hmm. with, which could be tricky in today's world because uh, everything organic and everything uh, produced old fashioned way tends to be extremely expensive. So. There's another trick there, how to overcome those things in the article called How to do Keto on a Budget. So you can check that uh, also article at Grigos Keto. But let's continue with Golden Fee of Nutrition. Now we are going through the article and we are talking about it. If you have any questions, please do ask us. Uh, Keto Mediterranean Ingredients now says, what if we make a healthy twist? Mm -hmm. How to actually make a twist on standard Mediterranean diet, which is overloaded with wheat products and, and cereals, mm -hmm. etc., pasta, as you might know, yeah. pizza, and everything that is popular in this area. Uh, Apollana says here, I firmly believe that Mediterranean ketogenic diet can bring the standard ketogenic diet to another level. By following this simple ketogenic variation, you will be using healthy and industrially and, sorry, not nutritionally mm -hmm. valuable ingredients. Also, the food which is prepared in Mediterranean way is preventing all the major diseases. I would like to mention that switching to this diet can make your wallet healthier as well. This is what we were talking about. If you go back to ancient ways of finding food, you will go to the marketplace, you will go to farmer's market. Directly from farmers, you're going to get your ingredients. Fisherman market. Yeah, exactly. You will try to find uh, your ingredients uh in place where they are mm -hmm. originating. You will not go so much into the supermarket or in uh, those uh, quick, uh, let's say, fast, fast food, food chains, yeah, chains, etc. So that's the major lifestyle change you're going to make. Uh, the benefits of the Mediterranean diet are numerous. However, you might uh, ask yourself what will happen if we remove all those excessive carbs and fruits from it. I would say the healthiest choice mm -hmm. will ever made. I'm not trying to create a whole new universe here, but maybe just uh, a new galaxy. That's a, that's a pro big actually problem with fruits. A lot of people don't understand that the enormous consumption of fruits can destroy not only our liver, but also our pancreas. Fructose uh, is uh, another yeah, kind of sugar. Uh, it's the main cause of uh, pancreatic cancer. Uh, enormous consumption will gonna make definitely our liver fatty, and eventually it's gonna destroy our pancreas. Uh, you need, if you would like to eat some fruits besides the berries, you need to go seasonally. Ancient Greeks wouldn't eat, uh, for example, uh, figs or uh, they didn't even have bananas. They didn't even have bananas or oranges or even or lemons. These huge yeah. apples that or like these uh, apples, they would eat them. They would eat them seasonally. They would not go. Uh, for example, I cannot imagine uh, eat uh, figs. Yeah, in, during the winter. This didn't exist. Yeah, this is exactly. another lifestyle change which you can apply. Eat fruits and vegetables seasonally. And if mm -hmm. you really cannot live without one peach, let's say, uh, have it occasionally, but try to have just half. Uh, mix it with uh, with something else. And the main problem, uh, and I'm sorry, and then the problem, main problem actually nowadays is that all fruits, like for example, bananas are GMO. This is the many fruits. Actually. Yeah. So if you cannot find organic fruits, which bananas are bananas all year round, uh, uh, oversized, uh, without seeds, 
uh, if you are consuming banana without seeds, uh, this is uh, also a problem. It uh, has been made in a laboratory. It's, uh, GMO food, uh, the same uh, it applies for all the wheat products. There is nano wheat. There is not any more iron corn that used to eat uh, the ancient people. That the ancient people used to eat, yeah. yeah. So uh, I think it's uh, a little bit tricky, but uh, if you're going to go seasonally and you can find, let's say, organic or uh, some small farm that is uh, less yes. harmful, If you can find definitely. a farmer's market, that's the best place mm -hmm. you can source your ingredients or fisherman market or uh, you will go to a butcher instead of supermarket, exactly. etc. You will find your ways to find those organic sources mm -hmm. of health. Uh, the main reason why keto Mediterranean diet is so beneficial lays in the great and affordable ingredients. You can also go to the forest and source yourself some wild greens, for mm -hmm. example, or maybe go hunting if it's allowed there. Because a lot of people actually think that it's super expensive, but it's not because uh, while on ketogenic diet we can have one, two, or maximum three meals. We cannot have seven meals like a regular diet, all these... Uh, uh, small snackings between uh, the three main meals. You need to have breakfast, you need to have lunch, you need to have dinner, and after that, three or four snacks. This is crazy, and oh, of course, it's going to take a lot of money uh, out of your wallet. We have two comments. I would like you Pablo to... Pablo says, hey, guys, you're awesome. Yeah, thank, thank you, Pablo. And Richard says, hello, want to tell you how impressed I'm with your style and knowledge. You're both uh, very inspiring and hope your audience grows uh, at the pace that you would want. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Yeah, it means a lot to us. It means a lot. And we are really trying our best to uh, bring this way of living that we prove to be really good for both of us and for your clients. Exactly. Apollo has had so many clients uh, who actually... Uh, got rid of many diseases and got in their perfect shape thanks to keto mediterranean lifestyle actually a diet which is totally different from standard keto and it's also different from mediterranean so it's something in between mm -hmm. and it has the best of both worlds so uh, the right choices are usually found in the farmers market or small farms these ingredients will provide satiety and 100 percent healthy macronutrients Keto Mediterranean diet is all about healthy fats, also omega-3 fatty acids, which are found in fish and flax seeds, will bring a balance to the omega-6 from the other sources, like olive oil. Like olive oil, exactly. We, Talk a we, we about talked olive about oil. olive oil, we love olive oil, uh, especially uh, we as Greeks, we love olive oil, uh, we can bath in olive oil, definitely, but the ratio of omega-3 to omega-6 is 1 to 10. That means olive oil promotes inflammation because it contains a lot of omega-6. Mm -hmm. We want omega-3. And where we can find omega-3s? Definitely from our beautiful Let's... sea, Poseidon's children. We want fish. A and gift from Poseidon. Exactly. Okay, so uh, as the ancient myth says, mm -hmm. uh, Athenians chose Athena for the yeah. patron goddess. Because she gave them olive. Olive, yeah. But they should not forget all the beauties that mm -hmm. are coming from. Definitely, the our country surrounded. Uh, yeah. Uh, surrounded by beautiful by sea. sea. Yeah, so. Uh, and Two still, Greeks do not eat, uh, for example, a lot of fish. A lot of omega 3 packed in fish. Try to eat, guys, always uh, frozen or fresh. Don't go for canned Fresh food. number one, mm -hmm. frozen number Definitely. two. Canned, never. Never. You don't want canned fish. It's uh, packed with anti-nutrients, so you don't even uh, uh, consume all the benefits of, of eating fish. Mm -hmm. Better don't have fish if you are not able to find fresh or frozen. Uh, when it comes to, uh, to meat... Uh, definitely, I will exclude uh, chicken. I don't want uh, to eat, for example, chicken, uh, heavy commercialized, a lot of antibiotics, uh, enormous production. It's really affordable, but it's mm -hmm. not going to give you all the good nutrients. No, definitely so not. I would recommend to skip chicken, have it if you really love it, have it once per week, not more. Yeah, definitely. I uh, will give emphasis to uh, lamb, uh, veal, or uh, beef. Uh, really good cuts uh, with a lot of Internal fat. Internal organs mm -hmm. and wild. Wow. I wrote an article uh, several months ago uh, uh, about the zero carb phenomenon and uh, how it's possible to live uh, the, the carnivore style, let's say, diet without consuming any plant based uh, food. And uh, the proof is that uh, Eskimos, 
Mm-hmm. Of so course, or coconut, coconut oil. oil. You can have olive oil or coconut oil, of course. But uh, uh, the proof is that Eskimos uh, survived uh, for centuries just by eating uh, internal uh-huh. organs and uh, meat. So, um, in a keto Mediterranean diet, uh, you say that you are promoting the usage of medicinal herbs, mm-hmm. not only as spices, but also as great and refreshing hot and iced tea. Now, I want to talk about intermittent fasting beverages, mm-hmm. and especially as the, let's hope that summer will finally arrive to Mediterranean area. It's a little bit tricky. Yeah, it's, it's cold. Yeah, it's now. really cold. It's May. We hope that the real summer But will before come. we're going to jump to this subject, let's talk about, about this medicinal remedy, about this uh, natural antibiotic. Uh, olive oil, garlic, lemon, oregano. You can pour it uh, all, you, over, all over your uh, salad, marinade, your meat. Make, yeah, make and this is natural salad. antibiotic. No need for pills. And uh, this is a natural supplement, I would say. There are so many different uh, mm-hmm. combination of herbs that you can use during your intermittent fasting and uh, have cold or hot tea if it's uh, a warm day why not have some uh, ice cubes and add an herbal tea you don't need a sweetener during your fasting hours and if you are having this ice tea during the feeding window then you can add a dash of stevia a little bit of lemon juice and you can have extremely healthy iced tea which doesn't contain sugar which doesn't mm-hmm. contain Ah, and ah, actually, you have three options. You have uh, definitely the stevia blend with erythritol. Uh, still, it's okay. It will not break your fast. But if you have uh, gastrointestinal problems, uh, you should avoid it. You can go for 100% stevia uh, extract or for stevia leaves. I think it cannot break your fast. Uh, it's closest to the nature. It's just dried leaves. Uh, I think uh, it's great to go. When it comes to herbs, uh, we would like to recommend you uh, the natural uh, source of vitamin C. Nothing has more vitamin C than this uh, herb when it's boiled. It's interesting Mm -hmm. that uh, rose hip actually gets more vitamin C as it's being boiled. So you're going to get dried rose hip and boil it for 5 to 10 minutes. Let it cool down and enjoy extremely tasty and uh, vitamin C rich beverage. Now, so, Shiba says a uh, keto Mediterranean diet. Please write it as a book. Oh yeah. Yeah. We we were thinking about it. It mm-hmm. needs a lot of work, but we should work on that a yeah, little bit more. Definitely. Uh, always try to cook with bay leaves, basil, oregano, mm-hmm. rosemary, mint, parsley, saffron, cilantro, dill, sage, thyme. Uh, cinnamon, nutmeg. Look how many beautiful Mediterranean spices, if you haven't already tried all of them, can be used in savory and sweet keto meals. Uh, for example, we are using a lot of cinnamon when we are yeah, preparing minced we'll meat cinnamon. because cinnamon actually really improves the flavor of minced meat. If you give it a try, whether you are making a salsa or you are making mm-hmm. meatballs or you are making. A lot of people complain about the the raw taste of meat, but uh, if you're going to use cinnamon while cooking, it's going to disappear. This is a, a small tip, a cooking tip. Especially so, if you're buying mm-hmm. fresh, uh, uh, well, if you're going to a butcher store and you're buying fresh uh, minced meat, it might have a little bit aroma of blood. So don't worry about it. Cinnamon is going to take care of it and all the nutrients will stay. Exactly. Uh, and you can make... This uh, you can make even uh, uh, meatballs, and of course add uh, some extra Salsa. garlic. Yeah. Or you can bake a pie. With feta cheese, uh, we have this uh, stuffed with uh, feta so cheese. Yeah. Or a lemono. I think that they're great. Uh, they can go and meatballs. they can go for days. You can store them in the fridge. But and have lemon. Yeah. That would be meatballs in uh, egg and mm-hmm. uh, lemon sauce or egg and lemon soup. So that yeah, depends what you is, prefer uh, or what kind of weather you have. During the cold days, it's ideal mm-hmm. to have a lemon soup. When it's a little bit warmer, it's good Why? to have... Uh, we said eggs are packed with all the vitamins except vitamin C, guys. So by adding Healthy. lemon, which this has uh, vitamin C, you're going to have the whole combination of uh, vitamins. And plus, you can add later, you can uh, drink a cup well, of uh, rose have- uh, a glass of ice, rose hip tea, and you mm-hmm. will have your daily dose. Another thing which we really uh, keep recommending and keep mentioning is sea buckthorn. 
let me uh, remind you there are two articles about C. bacteria agrigo mosquito. Mm -hmm. It's a, a berry which has more fats than sugar. It's a fruit, but it's a fruit which is so fatty and so low in sugar that it's 100% Omega-3, omega-6, omega-7, and omega-9. I omega think it's the seven. only berry. I think it's the only berry one that contains, on this yeah, earth that has omega-7 in that amount. Uh, Luckily, Alexander the Great, during his campaign, brought it back to Greece to his uh, teacher Aristotle. So uh, we had the luck to plant this uh, 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 bush. It's actually a bush. It's not a tree. Mm. So uh, uh, we had the, the luck to cultivate it and uh, to have it uh, for all its medicinal properties because you can consume and the leaves it's and the seeds yeah, and the berries. And the berries. And, uh, Dried berries actually are easiest to mm -hmm. uh, obtain today. It's very Oil. difficult to find them, let's say, in normal stores or in, in health yeah, stores. Maybe. But it's a little bit you can order, to source it. order them online. Mm -hmm. And then you have recipes at Grigos Kido, how to prepare a beverage with sea buckthorn. It's uh, ideal if you are recovering from any kind of inflammation, any kind of infection, or after the surgery. Mm -hmm. If you have somebody in your family who, or among your friends who is recovering after the surgery, the best thing you can bring them is some sea buckthorn or hippophyes. How it's called in Latin or in Greek? Actually. In Greek, yeah. Greek and Latin. It means the shiny horse, yeah. It means shiny horse, and there's a story about it. You can find an article in mm -hmm. Agrigo Skito and Kito, learn yeah. about history and why this medicinal herb is also uh, a fruit, and it's keto fruit because mm -hmm. it's so low in sugar and so high in good fats, especially okay. all those omegas, especially omega 7 and omega 3. It has 400 milligrams of vitamin C per 100, this is per 30, I think. 30 grams, yeah. 30 grams, which is enormous. I don't think even lemon can compete with it when it comes to yeah, the amount of vitamin C. It's so really intense, the taste, but... Uh, it's very sour, so you would need to, to dilute it with a little bit of water or how much water you want. Yeah. You can have 300 ml. And add a dash of stevia or monk fruit if you really want to bring up those fruity, sweet taste because it's very sour. And because it's sour... We wrote another article, uh, guilt-free juices uh, while on keto. So uh, I think uh, you can read even this article. Yes. Where we talked about sea So we, we have mm -hmm. there four ideas about pink lemonade, about uh, those red berries, how they're called. Uh, I thought we were red about current. Uh, red current. We thought about uh, about choke berries. I think. And choke berries. Choke berries. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, aronia. Aronia. Yeah. Okay. So how does a keto Mediterranean meal look like? Let's say keto Mediterranean breakfast. If you mm -hmm. are having breakfast, we always recommend to skip breakfast. Uh, to try <laughs> exactly, to it says its name, breakfast, break your fast. We don't want it, guys. Uh, usually we want to fast uh, to break uh, Better to have a brunch. after 12 o'clock, uh, usually. Our... Something like a brunch. Mm -hmm. Have a brunch and dinner. Don't have breakfast at all if you are on weight loss program. Mm -hmm. And if you uh, would like to have only two meals a day and then the rest of the day, yeah. During the night, also two meals, uh, I think, are great. So, and you will see results More if you're in a weight enough. loss journey. More than enough, you can put all your uh, macronutrient ratio and needs into two mm -hmm. really good ketogenic meals. And you can have keto dessert, uh, of course, in your feeding window, not during, in yeah, between we don't meals want to snack. Not, not so snacking. You are actually having your dessert immediately after one of your two meals. You decide whether it's going to be after your brunch or after your dinner, mm -hmm. but have it immediately, like together with your meal, so that you don't eat always we have uh, nutritional facts. We have the labels, uh, you know, what are you consuming? Usually, our sweets are uh, around 20 25 slices. So they have nutritional density. It's really hard to eat more than one or two pieces, I think. Uh, and especially and if you're going to make uh, mm, uh, the profiterol, uh, I check think... Check the recipe at Vigo yeah, Skido. Uh, they are they're delicious, so good. delicious, they're, yeah. At the same time, they're fat bombs and desserts. Bomb, so yeah, they're yeah. going to help you mm -hmm. have your macros in order. They will give you also good protein because they are made of egg whites. But they're filled with butter and egg, and egg but, yolks, uh, which is totally keto and can be even carnivore. Mm -hmm. If you exclude coconut flour or almond flour or whatever you're using in the egg white, uh, then just make meringue. Uh, you, you bake it literally, just yeah, egg whites with some spices, and then you fill it with butter and egg yolks cream. Then you got yourself even a carnivore 
treat, treat rather yeah. than dessert. Without sweetener or with sweetener, if you are like, you don't mind. If you consume having, coffee, yeah, maybe you can have sweetener. Yeah. Uh, so uh, an omelet cooked in butter or some other other mm -hmm. animal fat with cheese, spinach, uh, chopped prosciutto, or even bacon sounds very Mediterranean. It does. Mm -hmm. uh, you can even add a little bit of tomato to your omelet. For example, we have a great recipe for Greek uh, kayana, kayana yeah. which is an omelet made with tomatoes, eggs, and feta cheese. So if you keep your tomatoes like half. A, a normal size medium tomato per mm -hmm. portion per your meal you will be okay don't go too much with tomatoes because tomatoes are fruits and tomatoes are over sweet and uh, they simply contain way sugar, too much sugar so yeah if you're uh, keep them in it. moderation like in half but, a tomato yeah okay. we wouldn't recommend if you are uh, in a weight, weight loss. loss yeah it's if, if you for example, it's experiencing gonna, weight be. loss plateau, yeah. then you will exclude tomatoes totally. Many of the other vegetables you will exclude in this. But you can, of, of course, read an article about weight loss plateau mm -hmm. and how to overcome it, how actually to boost your uh, metabolism and how you can start losing fat. Not muscle mass, but only That's the reason when we're saying we want uh, to lose weight is a little bit uh, tricky. We don't want to lose weight. We want to lose fat to keep our muscle mass. Uh, and uh, that's how a proper uh, weight loss uh, works. Mm -hmm. If you decide to have more fish on your keto Mediterranean, mm -hmm. we just told the keto Mediterranean that should have at least two times per week fish or seafood. If you can find it fresh or frozen, do not take anything canned. Please don't take anything canned because you are just eating plastic, let's say. You're not eating any nutrients. The fish is totally destroyed if it has been canned. Yeah. So uh, affordable choices are the sardines, European mm -hmm. sprat, and mackerel. Uh, fresh or frozen, they can be purchased at fish market and even in supermarkets, especially frozen. You have to check those frozen offers if they are also packed with some cornstarch or something, then you're going to avoid yeah. them. You want just fish that was wild caught and packed, preferably on the boat, on the fishing boat. And the yeah, yeah, yeah. Ship. When they have wild catch, uh, it's so the best. So many companies are saying that it's a wild catch and mm -hmm. that uh, they're freezing it immediately when they take it out yeah. from the sea. A lot uh, of if you have traveled to Mediterranean countries, maybe you have noticed that uh, we like to bake and fry everything in olive oil. Mm. Uh, well, we are trying to avoid this now. Uh, we recommend using extra virgin olive oil at the end of cooking. If you but, want to uh, fry the fish, use coconut oil mm -hmm. or some animal fat such as, for example, uh, ghee. Yeah. Uh, purified lard, for example, also can be used and doesn't have any smell. Extra virgin olive oil is better if used uncooked for salads and dips in the end after you finish cooking. Uh, in order to save time, you can cook several meals at night, store mm -hmm. them in the refrigerator, and use them the next day, which is really But uh, usually the taverns guys using uh, pomace is from the seed of uh, olive. Uh, to Mediterranean area. It will not be olive oil. Uh, it is from uh, olives, so but don't go for fried. If you're eating yeah. out in Mediterranean countries, and usually don't it's order uh, fried. breaded and you can just you don't order need grilled. Thing. And when they use grill, they're simply grilling. Let's have tapas. They're grilling it and then they're freshly covering it with olive oil, so you don't have to worry. Yeah, you just can't. for the trans fats. You can say that you have, a, you can claim you have a, an allergy and uh, you solve your problem. <laughs> and then uh, when you order, just tell them I have an allergy in sunflower oil. Yeah, sunflower oil or uh, in uh, flour, uh, white flour. Mm -hmm. That's it. Uh, a stew made with uh, tasty Mediterranean veggies with some meat can be stored in the refrigerator. You can make a great dip and store it in a glass jar. Also, do not be afraid to buy frozen berries and vegetables. Mm -hmm. They are really affordable and most of the producers are freezing them while they're very fresh. If a supermarket has berries or lemons at discount, the best thing you can do is to buy a large amount and make your own keto marmalade. You can make keto marmalade, and uh, of course, you will not use a lot. You will lose like use one uh, tablespoon, but still, you will be. And able you can to uh, add uh, beef gelatin, uh, which is going to boost your 
uh, grass, collagen intake, fat, beef, gelatin, mm -hmm. no berries, need for supplements. Lemon, just uh, run them mm -hmm. in a food processor, and you don't even have to boil them. You can have just warm water with gelatin mixed with berries exactly. and lemon. Exactly. Uh, I yet, don't see the reason. Uh, great, plus, your bone fresh, broth and you have a, a collagen uh, booster. Carbon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A great number of healthy keto desserts can be prepared with these ingredients. Uh, find some great re recipes at Grigos Keto. Yeah, of course. You can find like, I think, 200 recipes or more. More, uh, yeah, we have more Grigos than Keto recipes. at this point. And many of them are desserts. I know, we're sorry. Everybody demands desserts, desserts. Yeah, we're getting so many requests, uh, especially about uh, Greek uh, traditional uh, mm -hmm. recipes that we have to ketonize. Uh, we are happy to uh, to do it, but uh, also we like to write in some uh, scientific articles uh, or uh, personal experience. Lifestyle. Yeah, exactly. This is very good part, and we will uh, mm -hmm. end this video with this part: how to live the keto Mediterranean lifestyle. Uh, the way we live plays a big role in the performance of our diet. Mm -hmm. Positive thinking. Relaxation, physical activity, lots of sunshine and fresh air. Of course, we cannot have sunshine every day. Uh, the weather is not as good yeah. as it used to be uh, during this springtime in Mediterranean area, but you can fix those things in the kitchen. You can intake more yolks. If you don't have enough of sun, then take more yolks and quail eggs to compensate for the vitamins. Mm. And this is a group, it's, it's so symbolic. The yolks are yellow like the sun, mm -hmm. and it's giving you idea how you can utilize the core of life, fix yeah. the vitamin content. Because once you said eggs, especially yolks, contain all the vitamins mm -hmm. except vitamin C. So just take yeah. rose hip tea, sea buckthorn, and, and this is the main mistake when people uh, uh, actually uh, catch a cold, they're gonna go to to eat all these oranges, which are flooded with sugar. Sugar is going to promote inflammation. Uh, you didn't uh, solve anything. Uh, instead, you can eat your yolks. You can eat fish oil, which is vitamin D. And that's the main reason we're getting sick. During the winter, we are not thirsty. Uh, we are not taking enough of fluids. Uh, we're not properly hydrated. And we need vitamin D. We don't have plenty of sun. So that's the reason. If you're going to take your fish oil, your yolks, and you are uh, well hydrated, you will not get sick. That's great it. Great tip. Let's continue. Um, humor plays a great role too. It's an extremely important part of keto Mediterranean lifestyle, Mediterranean lifestyle in general. Uh, read or watch comedies, visit mm -hmm. theaters, and search for comedy plays. Ancient Greeks were watching comedy as a part of healing process. Very little effort is needed to make a happy life. It is always within your inner feeling, in your way of thinking, try to adopt this philosophy. We could learn so much from ancient Greeks. They were really literally mm -hmm. ending their day with a comedy play. If they wanted to, if they had any problems in their life, the, the physicians would recommend to go and see a comedy That's the play. reason uh, Epidavros was uh, built in three levels. The first level is to, to heal your body. The second is to, to heal your soul. And the third, your spirit. It's Everything is interlaced, mm -hmm. so it's connected. Uh, I know that we all have not been blessed with growing up under the light of Mediterranean sun, next to the warm sea where the winters are mild and summers offer all the benefits of swimming and inhaling the salty air with pine tree at home. I know there are other great places in the world, but I recommend... Uh, to visit any Mediterranean country in yes. the spring or summer season. It's something that you uh, really have to try to work on to at least once in your lifetime come to any of the Mediterranean countries so you can enjoy the food, the, the, the spirit, the, the history, the culture and everything that actually mm -hmm. is present there. And if you decide to, to visit Greece, then there's an article how to save your ketosis in Greek taverna. You can order so many great dishes which are 100% keto. You don't even have to say, I'm on keto, I'm on diet. You don't have to say those things. You will just order these dishes that we recommend in the Sorry. article called how to save your ketosis in Greek uh, mm -hmm. Taverna. Feel the air and see. Start with uh, Greece, my homeland, as you yeah. say, and then explore any Mediterranean country. Stay strong and stay positive. Yeah. Or as we like to say, stay ketonized to the full potential. Exactly.
Thank you for watching us live. And for those of you who will be re-watching this, you can uh, contact us. Uh, we are active on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. Mm -hmm. And we also have a Patreon account. So if you would like to support Grigo's Keto team, if you would like to have more uh, personalized content or to be directly coached by Apollonas, who is certified uh, I'm looking at his diploma, Certified uh, Nutrition nutritional Therapy. Therapist, yeah. Exactly. So uh, you will be able to have all the benefits of keto Mediterranean lifestyle. Don't hesitate to contact us. And once again, stay ketonized. To the full potential. And Bye stay positive, guys. Stay positive. Bye. Bye.